Today I got some new chains from my boy Paco from the Diamond District in Cali. You just can't beat the price and quality uh, of jewelry out there. I'm going to be doing an unboxing, showing some real gold rope chains, the differences in size, and how to spot a fake. Uh, believe it or not, there is such a great influx of fake chains out there that some people have never seen real ones. Uh, the three most common chains you'll probably see uh, are Cuban links. Uh, that's what the baby uh, rocks, you know, the necklace that was gifted to him. You got Franco's, which have the V-shaped links and are very, very sturdy. Uh, and my personal favorite, uh, the gold ropes, which are a classic and very versatile chain. They look good on a young or old person. Uh, they're classy enough for business settings. You can also rock them if you're going to be out at the club, you know, trying to see some twerking or something. Uh, I first saw real gold ropes rocked by Christian Porter uh, and my cousin Antoine Quoman. And I was like, man, I have to. I have to get me some of those. You know what I mean? And, and I just love gold because that is what kings and pharaohs wore back in the day. It's a very, very precious metal. All right. Remember, chains are priced on length gold weight and carrot so i'll show you some obvious ways to spot fakes all right these two are 20 inch gold ropes it's a three millimeter and this one is a four millimeter uh the most common size you'll see in real and i emphasize real gold ropes is about two millimeters all right so let me take those out all right like i said this is going to be your three millimeter real nice chain real nice chain that's three millimeters and this is going to be your four millimeter chain. You see there was a considerable jump in um, size there. When you think about millimeters, you don't think it's really going to make a big jump like that. All right. But that's a really, really nice jump. Uh, again, this is going to be your three millimeter 20 inch chain. And this is going to be your four millimeter 20 inch chain real real nice chains. Now, uh, I'll show you my personal favorite in length and width. This is a six millimeter chain at 24 inches. And again, I'm going to show everybody how these chains actually look on me. Uh, it's different seeing them just placed out, but I also show you how they look on me. Okay. But that's going to be a six millimeter chain at 24 inches and the reason I like 24 inches I'm a taller guy I'm six foot two uh, 210 pounds so it's important to me and again this is personal preference uh, for me to have a chain that's going to meet my length requirements I like it to sit at a certain area on my chest and 24 inches does it for me uh, I don't like to go crazy long like the chains in the 90s uh, so 24 uh, is my sweet spot all right and this is big enough to really catch attention when you're out and about uh, when the sun hits the diamond cuts this thing really uh, really shines all right a five millimeter chain uh, on the K's website uh, at this same length goes for about four thousand uh, dollars mine is six millimeters I couldn't find one on the K's website but I would imagine that it retails close to five grand because, again, if you can see the jump, just look at the jump from the uh, three uh, to the six there. You're, you're doubling uh, in size there. Uh, with that in mind, let me pull out a fake. Now, this is a fake chain. This is what you probably always see when you're out at the club or something. This is what a lot of the young guys rock, these fake chains, all right? Uh, when I was at Walmart today, uh, I saw these. So I said, let me um, just grab one because I'm going to do an unboxing. I knew my, my chains were coming today and I want to give you a, a comparison. All right. Now think about this. My wife and I, we have a net worth of a little bit over uh, $2 million. And this is still a very big purchase for me. All right. So think about guys who make considerably less uh, and if they're rocking something like this, uh, you know, it makes you question things. Uh, so how to spot a fake in person again, 
Think about the prices I just gave you, and I'm gonna put a uh, screenshot directly from Kay's website so, you, so I can verify those prices to you. Uh, if a dude is busted and dusted, you know, no whip, uh, white forces that are turning yellow and his chain is thicker than one of these, um, there's a high chance it may be a fake, all right? Now look at the color. You know, I don't know if the camera's doing it any justice. I'm filming by myself, so I'm not seeing the viewfinder. Um, but look at the color difference. If you look at the fake chain, uh, it has like a brownish hue to it. Uh, here's the real one, here's the fake one. The real one's, uh, you know, a lot lighter than that. You can see that brown tint to it. There's a very, very big color difference. Let me put those right there just so you can see. Hopefully the camera does it some justice, but this is the color difference uh, from a fake, and here's the real one there. All right. And then, you know, um, the next obvious sign, of course, is the stamping. When you want to uh, see if something's fake or not, you want to look at the stamping. If you look at all my chains, and again, I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not, but if you look at the stamping on the clamps there, uh, it'll always show you your gold carrot, okay? If you look at this fake chain right here, look at those clamps. You have absolutely nothing. You can't very verify the gold carrot because, huh, it's fake, you know? So if, if you're somewhere, somebody's stunning with some jewelry, you know, tell them, take the chain off. Let me see your clamps. <laughs> if there's nothing on the clamps, uh, it's fake. You know what I mean? This is my, my old chain right here. That's 26 inches uh, at four millimeter. That's my old chain. So I'm not trying to put much attention on that. I'll just scoot that one over. But I am going to wear it uh, when I show you the chains on my neck today. Uh, so what you're looking at right here is over 100 grams in gold jewelry. You know, that's that's some serious weight. Uh, if you ever hear rappers talking about having over, you know, 10K in jewelry, uh, well, these gold ropes uh, fulfill that status quo, okay? So take a second to look at them. I'll give you a second just to look at these gold ropes. They're real beautiful. Just take, take a second just to look at those gold ropes, man. Now I'll show you how the chains look on me. I'm about six foot two, 210 pounds. So if you're a man of my height and my weight, this is probably how the chains will look on you, all right? We'll start with the longest chain, which is my oldest chain. This is a 26 inch, four millimeter gold rope. Next, we'll go to the fake chain. I left it on so you can see the color difference from a fake chain to the real chains, all right? You see that the fake chain has a slight brown hue to it. It's a little darker than the real chains, all right? We'll and then go to my thickest real chain, which will be the six millimeter at 24 inches, all right? See that one is real nice and thick and really shines. Uh, we'll then go to the two shorter chains. Uh, these chains are three millimeter and four millimeter in width and they sit at 20 inches on my neck, all right? So again, at, at my height and my weight, this is what 20 inches look, looks like on the neck, 24, 25, and 26, all right? I'll now remove the fake chain, all right? So I've taken the fake chain off. Now you can see how the real chain sit on my neck. As you see, when the lights hit them, they really dance. They really glisten, they really shine, you see that? Uh, these gold ropes have the diamond cutting in them, so that's why the light really makes them sparkle. All right, again, you have the 20 inch, you have the 24, and you have the 26, all right? And again, you can see how these really shine uh, when the light hits them. You can really see how they shine there, okay? Perfect. And another thing to take note of, uh, when gauging the width of your chain, let's say you want a six millimeter rope. 
Well, that rope is usually measured before the diamond cutting process. So after the diamond cutting process, you may have a 5.9 millimeter rope, all right? So if you want a true six millimeter rope, please ask your jeweler, whoever's making your chain, hey, can you measure it after the diamond cutting process, all right? So again, this is how these chains look on the neck. All right, again, this is over 100 grams in gold. So if you want to be like Trinidad James, all gold, everything, this is how it's going to look on your neck, all right? If you ever see a person, they say over 10 grand on the neck or something like this, this is what that's really going to look like, all right? So I hope the video has showed you the length of the ropes, gave you a little information on the three most common type of ropes. Uh, and also gave you information on how to spot a fake when you're out there, okay?